Tonight for dinner, we're going to have some filet mignon. I'm going to top that with a cowboy butter sauce. Um, we went to, to the local butcher and we got three eight ounce filets since there's three of us. What's shocking about this meal is it's cheaper than three of us going to a fast food restaurant and eating. So you can prepare a nice gourmet meal at home for very little money. So what we got our three fillets there. In our pan over here we have a cast iron skillet. We're going to put two tablespoons of olive oil. We're going to let that get heated and we're also going to add to it one tablespoon of butter. We're preheating our oven to 400 degrees because we're going to bake these once we get them seared. With our fillets we made a spice rub, we've taken one fourth a teaspoon of white pepper, one fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder, and one fourth a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to sprinkle that on top of both sides to help give it just a little bit extra flavor. Rub that in. Now we got bacon wrapped on ours. If you don't want bacon wrapped, you don't have to do it. We just kind of like the, the extra little flavor to it. All right, once our oil gets hot, we're going to start searing these off. Our butter's melted, our oil is nice and hot. To start off with our fillets, since we've got bacon on them, we're going to actually start searing them on the sides. We want to make sure that bacon just has just a little bit of crisp to it. And this won't take very long. It already smells great and we're just now stuck it on the stove. In fact, the smell has already uh, got the attention of our little dog. Get those nice to turn. We've got a nice golden brown there. Cook this for a couple of minutes longer. Add just a little bit of butter on top of that. It's gonna help it cook. The sear helps keep the insides nice and moist. That way it's going to be a much more juicy filet on the inside. And depending on how long that you want or how well done you want your steak will just determine how long you place this in the oven. I'm going to turn this up just to turn my heat off. Again, take a little bit of the extra butter, pour it on top, and we're going to stick this in the oven. All right, our fillets are ready. Look at that. They are nice and hot. We're now gonna put a piece of foil over that. That's gonna help it cook just a little bit more. And what it's also gonna allow it to do is let the fillets reabsorb all that liquid that it has lost and make it sure it's nice and even and juicy all the way through. We're gonna let this set for about five to 10 minutes. Now we're going to start the butter that we're going to put on top of our steak. This is the cowboy butter. In our bowl here we've got six tablespoons of butter in which is, we've already melted. To that we're going to add half of a fresh, lime, uh, fresh lemon, I keep trying to say lime, but lemon, along with the zest of that half lemon. A little stir. One tablespoon of Dijon mustard. four teaspoons of minced garlic, we love garlic so 
this recipe appealed to us very quickly. We're going to add one tablespoon of fresh chives that's been chopped. And then we're going to add just a few spices. We're going to add a pinch of cayenne, a fourth a teaspoon of paprika, a half a tablespoon of dried parsley flakes, one tablespoon of chives, half a teaspoon of minced thyme, a fourth a teaspoon of salt, a fourth a teaspoon of black pepper, and a fourth a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. Now if you choose to, on your um, parsley or your thyme, to put fresh in, remember one tablespoon of fresh is equal to one teaspoon of dried when it comes to your herbs. Just gonna pour that all in. Give this a nice mix. We're gonna let it set for just a couple of moments before we pour it over our steak. All right, our filet is done. Take it out of our pan. Stick it onto our plate. We've made some uh, sugar snap peas and also we've made some uh, Parmesan garlic potatoes. You can see those recipes in another couple of other episodes. Now we're gonna take our sauce. Slowly pour that over our steak. Here we have it. Filet mignon with a cowboy steak butter. We hope that you enjoy this recipe.